the, the foil boards that we're riding are one way to take advantage of it. At first glance, the foil board looks like it's some kind of practical joke. The Laird assured us that the hydrofoil fin makes the board glide above the water. I figured he meant it felt like it was gliding above the water. In the shelter of your mind. Even though you see it, you'd hardly believe it. Their feet strapped in snowboard boots two feet above the water, the wind hardly affecting them at all. The history of the foil boards from our group was uh, Brad Mitchell grabbing this thing called an air chair, bringing it back to Maui, and you sit down on it. And we all went out and tried it, and it was fun. And, you know, and of course, Laird had to take it to the next step. So he sawed the seat off the thing and figured out how to stand on it. And then, like everything, once you see that something's possible, then somebody else has to try it, and away it goes. There's thousands and thousands of surfboard shapers, and there's like one guy making this thing that you can sit on. And um, he doesn't even know we're standing on him yet. Laird and David spend as much time in each other's garage refining the foil board's design as they do riding it. They're an interesting cross between surf gods and hobby geeks. Foil itself actually uses the energy of the wave under the water, touching a deeper source of the wave. It's got a real cushiony, soft feeling, almost like you're surfing on a cloud. A magic carpet ride on a board that can ride both a ripple and the biggest of waves. The foil board's ability to catch a wave early and cut through the heaviest wind chop gives it the potential to ride a wave over 100 feet tall. I think when um, actually Laird went to school at this place, they tore it down, it's old now, but uh, I think this is where they came up with the idea for the hydrofoil. It's a pretty cool, you know. See, they figured out it's better, it's better to use it in the water though.